welcome to my piano studio. Today I'd like to share with you how to build major scales on each of the 12 tones and how to build diatonic seventh chords within each of the 12 major scales. This is going to allow you to uh, improvise and write music in all 12 major keys and um, also give you some beginning ideas of some closely related keys that you can go from one key to another key for a variety in your music making. I hope you enjoy. So we begin with C major scale. It's also known as the Ionian mode, C major. And um, that's C to C. And we notice that each tone There's 12 chromatic tones. We can play that as a scale. Each of these 12 notes can be host, can be the, the beginning tone or the tonic tone, the home tone of a major scale. So C, D flat, D, E flat, E major, F major, G flat major, G major, A flat major, flat major and B major. We're back to C. So how do you construct these tones? How do, how do you make them happen? Well, there are many different approaches to understanding how scales come about, but I'm going to show you how to build one based on intervals. So you remember we have half steps and whole steps major second, minor second. So you can construct any major scale by going whole step, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half. So that's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So if you keep that whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half in mind, you can build all your scales. And in the beginning, you just think of this whole step, whole step, half, whole, 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 half, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. You can do this on any of the 12 tones. Now you can get a, a book. I like the Schmidt book, the Schmidt um Piano exercises book is kind of a classic, the Schmidt book, um, preparatory exercises. And in the back of this book, they have all the major scales with the correct fingering and also the minor scales, which we'll get into later. And uh, also other things like arpeggios, how to do in our inversions, inversions, etc and a whole bunch of five finger exercises, you know, the old. And that's the Schmidt book. It's a really great book for uh, piano just to have. So uh, in, this, in this lesson, what I would say, uh, spend some time becoming familiar and practicing every day uh, the, the 12 major scales. Uh, the major scales bit on each tone. And there's different ways to practice these. You can practice them chromatically. Uh, start with just using your right hand alone, one octave. 
and then later you can do the two hands, etc., and then two hands together. But for right now, just learn them in your right hand. And when you're playing them, think to yourself, C major. No flats, no sharps. D flat major, five flats. D major, two sharps. So it helps in the beginning to visualize that key signature while you're playing the scale. And you'll just look at the music and say, oh, we're in E flat major, we're in D major. Um, so those that's how you build a major scale and then of course apply what we've learned to apply that those those diatonic seventh chords built on in each scale apply that to the other scales if we go C major now let's try it in F major so F major has one flat. You see, and once you have that, you can play now in the key of F major as well. F to C now that you know two keys and uh, then go a fourth above so you can do C major then go to the F major scale and maybe practice that for a whole week just getting those diatonic seventh chords in F major under your fingers and remember scale uh, and after you've done F major for a week and really kind of gotten it into your system then go to B flat major I'm just going by fourth C to F and the next key would be flat so two flats so just spend the week between different keys. So start with C major, then go to F major, then do your B flat major scale, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, or B major. And then you can go backwards. F sharp, or we did the G, B flat, so E major, A, D, G, and back to C. So. Uh, that would be A, D, G, C, again in fourth. You go around the circle of fourths, it's called. So there is a, a little exercise to do to get familiar with all of the diatonic seventh chords in each of the 12 scales, keys. And then you can, um, we'll learn
modern ways to get in between different keys to go from key to key. Thanks so much for watching this little lesson on how to make 12 major scales and uh, diatonic seventh chords built within each of those 12 major scales. There are many different ways to conceptualize how scales are built, but these, this stepwise motion of combining major and minor steps, intervals, is a pretty common one. It's probably the most basic. And uh, you can get any good theory book will teach you. If you want the classic theory text for classical uh, harmony, harmonic analysis, and classic theory, this is the book. It's Aldwell and Schachter's Harmony and Voice Leading. And this book is, uh, this is the second edition. I believe it's probably now in the fourth edition, last time I looked. And this is the textbook for classical music, for classical harmonic analysis. If you're interested more in jazz analysis on uh, learning uh, jazz, I very much recommend this book, How to Play from a Real Book. And this is probably the simplest. This is by Robert Rollins. This is probably the most straightforward and simplest way to uh, learning jazz music theory. It's, this, it's basically the same ideas with different words and slightly different conceptualizations, but this is great for jazz theory. One other book that I'll recommend is the classic by Mark Levine, Jazz Piano, the Jazz Piano book. So those are uh, some ideas if you're interested in reading on uh, music theory. Enjoy playing the piano.